How are we doing sports fans? Ghost Picks Team Justin here. Um, I want to first off and foremost start off with you guys. If you are not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you like the content that we're putting out as well as the free plays. Um, I always appreciate knowing you guys are there watching it. Um, and we've had kind of the same clientele, the same ride or die guys since day one. Um, I appreciate you and I really do love the support. Um, I also, I enjoy knowing what you guys are on. Like, obviously I know a lot of you guys are a part of the Ghost Picks family and you've been here uh, probably longer than me, to be honest, over over since, the, since I started this thing. And you guys obviously are um, very avid sports fans as well, and you like to make money. And I know that you guys are either on our plays or you have your own plays. And I love to hear what you guys are on or what you're thinking um, and to see your angles of what you guys are all about. Um, obviously, we all go on highs and lows in our runs, and sometimes I honestly look at what you guys do and um, try to crunch those numbers and see what maybe got you there, and I, I just generally appreciate uh, the feedback. So if you guys want to go ahead and drop your locks of the day, let me know what you're on. I always love looking at it, and sometimes uh, even if it's against what I'm on, um, it's still fun to watch that aspect of it. Uh, yesterday. We had uh, two plays. I wasn't able to make a video as I was traveling, um, but we were on MLB. We had a top tier winner of the Red Sox run line taking on the Mets at plus 105, uh, four unit winner. And we also had a three unit play on the Brewers, which ended up not hitting the Brewers are on a little bit of a, I don't know if the Brewers are on a cold streak or the Cardinals are just heating that much up, making that push uh, come playoff time. Um, but the Cardinals look really solid. Um, I mean, I'll be the first one to say I thought the Brewers were going to avoid the sweep there and then just uh, they got absolutely roundhoused. Um, but we had that plus money winner with the Red Sox. So we had a positive day, which you can never complain about, um, especially in this business. Anytime you're in the green, it is a good day. Um, looking at today, a lot of baseball. We have uh, Thursday night football. If you guys are not a part of a package yet, um, Team Justin's weekend package. Highly recommend it. NCAA, NFL, MLB, you get the whole shebang. Um, I would recommend being on that. We also have our NFL season. Um, if you guys are going to be here week in, week out, I just recommend hopping on that NFL season. That way, um, it, in the long run, it's going to be your best ROI. Um, however, you guys do you. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, looking at today with our free play, I'm actually going to go to the NCAA Um I love, I absolutely love both of these teams. Marshall, Appalachian State. I think everyone hears about Appalachian State and they immediately go to the underdog taking down Michigan uh, the way that they did. Um, but they have proven themselves to be a steady program as well as Marshall. Marshall has been very good in college football the last couple of years. Um, and tonight they're in Appalachian State. Primetime Thursday night football. This is as big as it gets for these two schools. I expect both of them to put on a show. And when I and when I say that, I think that it's going to come down to a close game. I think it's going to be a one possession football game. And for that reason, and that reason alone, I'm taking Marshall uh, plus seven. They're going to keep it within a touchdown um, at plus money. I think it's plus 105 right now. I love this play. I think obviously. Um, when you get in these, uh, these two types of teams, these categories, it has the ability to run away uh, and get ugly. Um, I think these are two very evenly matched teams. You look at Appalachian State, they kept it very close in their one loss to Miami, but I think Miami's not as good as people had originally thought to start the season. And Marshall's only loss was versus Coastal Carolina, uh, and they too kept that game close. Uh, Coastal Carolina, I think, is going to be a very good team. Um, with this game, I really do think it's going to be a close maybe a come down to a field goal potentially overtime and with that being said I like the touchdown spread here so plus seven I am taking Marshall for my free play uh you guys at home like I said we have our weekend package we have our NFL package we have our NCAA package and we also have MLB uh to boot uh can't wait to see you guys on it good luck god bless grind on and let's go